production tooling, analysis of die design by fi uh, finite element simulations. So here we're going to use uh, LS Dyna software. And to know more about the topic, you can go to website Tribomen uh, under top, uh, under teaching subject um, production tooling. So what we need to have here for finite element simulations first is the geometry second is we need to create the mesh element for the geometry we created earlier and then we proceed with the input parameters first with the material properties section with the if it's need uh, if we need to apply apply this uh, uh, hourglass or then we go to contact behavior we then loading behavior uh, it can be either be our force displacement or velocity and then uh, boundary condition so we need to identify and set motion to all related uh, to all parts that we uh, investigated and lastly run finite element simulation that and that we need to choose either implicit or explicit so here we look into this blanking operations so a series of punching tests were conducted with a 1mm AIS I3 of stainless steel sheet with a diameter of 2mm uh, powder metallurgical PM2 steel AIS IM32 punches with a 0.1 mm radial clearance between the punch and the blanking die so the invest this number two here is the punch okay number four here is the strip plate and five is the spacing so meaning that uh, the die is number seven so the workpiece is placed around this area so first we need to locate the coordinate of the geometry so this is what we have here so so first what we need to do is that we open ls dyna program manager we go to ls prepose and start ls prepose okay so then we create the geometry we go to a uh, element and mesh and shape measure so or you can go to FEM element mesh shape measure here uh, you can also find the other model unpart keyword manager create entity here but uh, the most easiest way you use the icon on the top uh, on the right hand side you can see everything is available here it just you need to click uh, on the icon okay so in this case we choose shape measure so since we are going to perform to the analysis so meaning that we are expected it's going to be like this so we're going to do the axis metric uh, uh, to the geometry which is this is punch is round but we only draw to the uh, to the shapes and then we only draw half okay so as a symmetrical half geometry of our of this uh, punch stripper plate sheet and the die so here we use uh, we, uh, when we click this shape measure we go to 4 and shell we click 4 and shell that's where we can enter the coordinate or you can also use the other uh, the other medium as well uh, the other uh, shape if you want okay so for the punch we here is the coordinate for the punch there are four uh, four parts of punch blank holder sheet and the die before we draw the, this one first zero we enter zero four point one zero so as you can see here before we start to draw uh, I let uh, I create some very very small gap gap between the punch and the sheet in order to allow uh, uh, 
to ensure that the simulation can run. This is applicable to all uh, simu uh, fin element simulation software, almost all, uh, where we, uh, we need to introduce a very small gap before the uh, before this let's say in this case punch make in contact with the sheet. So meaning that this is necessary. If not, the uh, the, uh, the simulation uh, will not run. And one thing here, why do we, do you see gap between the punch and the stripper plate? This is because of the uh, this zero ten percent radio clearance. Okay, so that's why here zero point one as well gap. So in this case, uh, let's look here zero point four for one, and then the next point one four point one. 1 4.10 the next point 1 6.6 .6. we enter uh, the xyz coordinate here and 0 6.6 .6. okay we name the punch the part number punch here great so this is what we get so if do not satisfy this you can always change the uh, the the element so let's see let's look what we have so i forgot to include this c here so that's why one is missing let's see okay now we have something like this so if we okay with this to so accept so then we go to the next we create a blank holder so in this case we name the punch here blank holder okay one one four one point one four zero uh four point one zero four four point one zero zero uh four point one three sorry it's not four it's supposed to be four yep yeah we're going to draw 4.1550 1 1.1550 let's look what happened okay this is what we get so since uh, we want to change the this uh, reject so it's supposed to be 15 create you don't want this 5 here is 15 create so if this okay with you then accept okay so then we draw die part number 3 down here die to 1.1 0 4.1 0 4.1 3 1.13 create okay if this is okay with uh, this so then accept so now we go to the last one so when you have created uh, the the parts you can see the part fm parts is available on the top uh, left hand side so then we create sheet 03 030 4.130 4.14 one point zero four zero four zero so let's see okay so reject so let's say here I want to be hundred so I want to be twenty let's see so is this okay no yeah, maybe here eighty yeah, twenty so is this okay so if you think this is okay so accept 
and done. Okay, so we have all those four part. So as you can see here, I forget to name this part here, right? It's supposed to be shit. So you can change the name and rename here. You can just simply uh, write down shit here, or okay, shit here. Press enter and then it will change for you. Or you can change this name if you go to uh, keyword, okay, part die here you see change sheet you press accept okay then can you see here this is also uh, the name here also has been changed so then stop so um, now when we already have the part okay now I'm going to teach you how to 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 uh, make a smaller mesh around here so we are aiming at 4.11s only for all parts so you go to element editing you go to split or merge and then you go to here so say that so the finer is the mesh the better is the accuracy of your fn, FN element results but then this will increase the computation time so what we need to do is that we focus on which uh, which area we want to investigate so then we reduce this uh, this heavy competitions hope we can avoid this heavy competitions so let's say is this okay so then accept okay so s then we can also do uh, uh, okay then okay if it's okay then we can proceed then if you think that we need to do some even smaller we can also do that what we can do is we we select the area we select by area that's the easiest way so we choose uh, by element and then area and then we want to see around somewhere around here okay okay then apply okay accept okay then we use this uh, shape here to create oh maybe something wrong here if you can see here so I make a mistake so because if I need to create uh, when there is a node here supposed to be uh, this node supposed uh, connected to the other node since there is no node uh, connect uh, to the uh, on each other so what we need to do is um, merge them so here is the merge operation you click here and there and then apply and then accept here there and apply accept here and there apply accept so we are finished with that so now what I want to teach you here is how to do this when we select this one so this one you need you need to do it manually okay so it's gonna take some time okay but this is the way you going to get a four notes element for all the parts apply accept see so this is the case where you need to do uh, to do this as well it's gonna take a long time to do this but it, it's not necessary for you to do this uh, um, refining the mesh except that uh, if you want to increase the accuracy of a finite element results then it's better to to do this okay 
accept if you are yeah, confident with it just accept step and done so we have this here so okay so what I need to do now is because uh, we need uh, since we are we doing uh, we 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 do this uh, remeshing so we need to hide this the other part in order for us to merge the duplicate nodes so then we click on sh uh, we hide first the, the, the other parts and we click on show duplicate node see here there is a duplicate nodes between this element this element this element mean, meaning that they have they may be four uh, four nodes for this uh, belong to each element so one belong to this element one belong to this element one not belong to this element, one element belong to this element so meaning that we need to merge these four nodes in and be, so that they become become one node that link this all uh, this element so so we click on merge here okay and then accept and done okay so since we're not doing uh, the remission to the other part so we don't need to do the merging of the other nodes for the other parts okay so now we have the parts already what we need now so we go to here so let me explain okay punch here requires this section mid uh, material and also uh, the other the other parameter so in case of sheet so we're going to use our class so we need to create one for it for the rigid part so we don't need it so since we have already the part okay here so now it's about material so these are the pro material properties for the punch blanking die and sheet material and for the input material for the um for the for the sheet materials we have performed the tensile test and from the tensile test we obtain this Ludwig formula Ludwig mathematical uh, expression for this uh for this sheet material okay uh okay and we're going to assign rigid bodies to punch blank holder and the die so so this will not give us any um, readings on uh, strain and everything so we assume rigid so th this is non deformable body but the shit is a deformable body here so we're going to choose this uh, elastic plastic uh, material so here what we need to do we click all collapse we go to material we go to number 20 for the rigid and then here we click new we go for rigid and we look here for the rigid, we use uh, punch. So here is the elastic properties. This is uh, the thermal properties. What we need now is the elastic properties only for the punch. And uh, for the rigid materials, uh, 7.73. So 
bear in mind that this is unit gram over a uh, centimeter cube what we need now for the uh, we need to make a standard uh, input uh, unit so in this case uh, we going to use kilogram over meter cube and for this in uh, for the strength we use megapascal instead of gigapascal so meaning that for density we need to multiply up multiply by 10 power of 9 7.73 e minus 9 and for the elastic 230 gigapascal so multiply by uh, 10 power of 3 okay for the megapascal so here zero uh, Poisson ratio 0 0.3 so the rest we leave it as, as it is so we don't need that so um, we just save accept and then we create another material which is a uh, um, sheet material elastic plastic plastic in this case we, we use look weak mathemat mathematical expressions and this is the case where we need to enter 7.9 7 7.9 200 so here we just change it to 0 200 and then okay yeah oh yeah sorry my mistake is not this one ignore supposed to be rigid this rigid is for the rigid material and since sheet material is elastic plastic so in this case we choose power law uh, elastic plasticity with number 0 0.18 so we click new ID elastic plastic by Ludwig and then 7.9 minus 9 200 e power of 3 10 power eight, uh, and then 0 0.3 here so this here is this is the k value value in unit megapascal this is n value with no unit the constants and here is the pre-stress value where we enter here sigma y is the k epsilon y sigma y and we expect that the when we perform this tensile test we re we found we figure out that the material fail at a strain value of 1.9 so then we accept okay so then we have this so we go to sections to create 2d as a symmetric uh, shell elements for our geometry here shell okay click new shell as this symmetrical half half geometry so you can go by uh, you can just write shell doesn't matter so in this case we choose number 15 why this is the case where we assign as a symmetric uh, in form of volume uh, considering the volume weight okay so then here the rest here you can change it if you want and or if you want to change from Langerian to Eulerian you can change this number or maybe to L, uh, Eulerian Langerian Eulerian formulations also is possible so this is applicable to this uh, this ele 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 element we choose where this is uh, to this element for AL form 13, 14 and 15 so meaning that we can choose ALE if we want okay so in this case uh, later on you can play around with this later on so let's try with the standard one the default one and this is also you can adjust where you can also change to number 4 
where this is the number of true shell thickness integration point so to explain to you this the default is set to 2 and for in case as we choose 15 so meaning that for 13 and 15 two dimensional elements so we can use value of 4 okay so in this case we leave it as it is so we accept so collapse and we need to create this H hourglass hg so here we click new hg so the only thing you need to change is here okay we can choose number four or you can choose any uh, anything you like here you just need to read here where you choose if you choose number four number four is applicable for this because we want to have some stiffness to the sheet material so that we could we could avoid the severe distortion of the mesh elements at the uh, at the sh uh, in the shearing zones let okay accept now we have it so we go to model so we have what we have here part okay for the punch we choose rigid right done so for the material here we choose rigid okay accept then we go to blank holder same we remember this is number one this is number one right accept and the die here section is so we use the same number one and the material id you use the same rigid and accept okay for the sheet sh the section is still the same shell and for the material we use elastic plastic by doing as mathematical expression and together we and we include the this hourglass effect okay then we finish with the fight what we need now is uh So then we apply contact to the part. We have four parts here. So what we need now is we go to element tool. Uh, sorry, we go to um, here and this here create entity. So set data and part. We click on create. Okay. We go we create punch and then we select by part and by pick punch so then the blank holder or by the other name stripping uh, plate strip stripper plate uh, and then die and then lastly the sheet okay so none so now we go to keyword we go to all we go to contact so this is the case we choose 2d 2d uh, automatic one way surface to surface so there are three contacts here between punch and the sheet between the blank holder and the sheet between the die and the sheet so what i need you to uh, to know is between the punch and the sheet so we create one punch sheet so here is the slave surface supposed to be the one the deformable bodies in this case we choose sheet and the master slave here is we choose a uh, punch okay and we we are dealing with uh we are using uh with uh, we are using coulomb friction law so what we need now we need uh, we just introduce a very small friction to between the punch and the sheet okay and then accept so then the next one is between the die and the sheet so here's still the same sheet for the slave and for the master slate uh, master surface this going to be uh, the die so then we have it oh sorry before I forget it it's supposed to be I need to click on uh, new ID so click on new ID then you can change it so this is number 3 and then accept 
so now create new ID so between blank holder and the sheet okay the blank holder here the slip is this and okay in this case blank holder will hold will press and hold the sheet from move, move from move, from sliding right so meaning that we need to apply very high friction to this so then it's supposed to be 0 0.3 lah so this monster is the almost is very high friction in the case of uh, when we use a uh, long friction law so here is new one with accept so then we are finished with this so the other thing is that you can also play around with this uh, close or closing or opening flag for implicit analysis so we, if you use implicit analysis if you explicit so this this is not function this cannot be function as you desired so now collapse so we have the the contact already so what we need now is the the boundary condition okay what we need now is the boundary condition we go to here create entity you go to set node and then you go to create and we need to have a uh, we, we 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 notice that the punch only can only move to the in y direction only and for the die for the die and for the blank holder we restrict the the motion and the uh, the translation and the rotation of the each, each node by locking all the d or f so how to do it so first we do we we do do the punch and then we select select by pick and part the easiest way is part okay we click part and then uh, apply okay then we go to the next the die the die apply the blank holder and the apply so we have three so then then we go to boundary condition here SPC there are two ways to do this one way you go to here you go to you go up you go to boundary you go to SPC SPC set you and you create uh, this through here the other way around the easiest way is you go to entity creation here create entity you go to boundary SPC and creation so here we only lock uh, so we choose this one punch right so done and then we only allow the punch to translate or move in y direction only and the rest we lock the, the other the off we lock so cannot rotate in x y and z it cannot rotate i uh, cannot uh, translate in x and z so here is y x and z then we we click apply okay so then the next one is we choose die so for the die we lock in everywhere this for the die so apply and for the blank holder same apply so we have three already so then we finish so then what we need now we go to here okay okay here are the we need to define the curve since we want to allow the punch to to move down and then return retract to its original position right so that's how the punch uh, uh, is going to is going to cut this shape okay so we need to allow the punch to move so how to do it first we need to create the loads they are you can uh, define the curve here okay coordinate and everything so you can we can do it here or we just go to here we click uh, on collapse we go to define we go to curve okay we create new and we say here punch displacement so as a function of time and then there are nothing to, to to look into around there so insert 
and then we need we know that the punch will go down in 175 seconds so the we allow the punch to move 1.5 insert and then the sim then end at 0 0.35 and it's written to its original position so accept so you can also load the data from the excel file if you want you just create cell so you load and then uh, you if you satisfy with this you want to check the result you can just always click plot here you see the plot okay see the plot okay so this is 1.5 okay and then 0 0.175 seconds and then it goes back okay so meaning that this is positive positive value so you how do we modify the negative value so you can just enter the negative value here minus because the punch moved down so meaning that it moved in the uh, negative direction so we just can always replace so accept and plot so this is what you get right so or you you don't want to do this way you want it to to make it uh, still positive replace accept and plot so you have you want to make it uh, to have this kind of uh, load okay in positive so how we adjust this uh, so then we go to boundary you go to uh, prescribe motion rigid okay this is where we create new ID and punch movement okay and the ID here we choose punch okay this punch here and we see that this is going to translate in y direction dof2 and we are going to apply uh, displacement so we choose number two right and then we choose the load curve here punch displacement that we have created earlier in the load curve and here is the load uh, curve scale factor here is where you need to put negative okay negative so instead of you uh, you use negative uh, load uh, in the load curve so you can always adjust them here the value here so accept and done don't forget to save your work first okay save as keyword so browse in this case you create the file maybe I try with this save linking uh, and then save yes okay so what we need now you go to uh, you open your, the file so you can see here the file you need is the k file here the, this file this ls dyna file will save in this k file type where this is the only file you need to share with your colleague or with the other interested parties that want to see your simulation so they, you can just send this file okay only uh, so what we need now we already have the boundary conditions what we need now we need to set database so what are the data we want to see we, uh, we expect from the fin element results so here we go you go to database okay here you go to H key option you click here okay double click and then you click 0 0.001 here okay uh, so you can just 0 point you can put 0 0.1 0 0 0.001 0 0 0 0 0.001 it's up to you so this determines the 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 interval okay in dt is the interval between each uh each point you uh you how many data you want to read okay so you enter 0 0.001 here you press enter and then the rest will automatically follow okay this number this value so what you want to see is the strain value el out so this is the element output so the strain will be read from this element output el out and the force so here we want to see this here resultant uh, interface force so we click that okay accept so we only choose two so now we have two here okay so we go to b3 binary d3 plot so here you can just enter 001 or two it's up to you 
it depends on your on your how you want it to be so accept the rest you leave it as it is and then you go to uh, extend binary extend binary and then or you can just set this default or you can always play around with this or you want this to be or you can just write this one okay because you want to write plastic screen data to d3 plot okay and then the rest also if you choose okay so the rest we leave it as it is except so you can also change it back to zero is you can use default it's not no problem so accept and uh, okay save okay so now we have one so collapse okay click collapse so then so we know that we want to uh, we want the simulation run at zero uh, up to 0 0.35 seconds right so here we need to to assign this we go to control we say that termination of the simulation will be performed up to 0 0.35 okay that's it okay bear in mind that uh, we want uh, if since we are going to use explicit so but then because of the simulation is going to take very very long time for this explicit so we want to uh, to make it uh, to make the simulation uh, run uh, not too long so what we are going to do is that we click on the time step here okay where we play around with this value so in this case you can always uh, in this blanking case one uh, minus five okay so this is the scale factor for the computed time step you can change to one if you want or you can use default value 0 0.9 okay accept okay then we want to also to control the contact because here you can see here it's very sharp sharp surface right sharp die surf, uh, edge so meaning that when this element here want to uh, move to this way okay you need to go to uh, you need to move along the sharp edges also meaning that this coin to gives very very similar uh, severe distortion of the element so so then what we need to do is that we play around with the contact because uh, the contact here is because of this is something related to the contact uh, that we assigned earlier okay for the friction so here we use uh, uh, default okay default 0 0.1 and then here okay we want to read the uh, we want to ask the simulation uh, to to calculate friction energy in contact we choose one so the rest we just use default val value except and the rent and then uh, we're going to use uh, remeshing due to this is sharing so the distortion of the mesh element is going to be very very severe in the sharing zone so in this case we're going to use this adaptive remeshing technique okay so these are the default but what we want to do is that we want to uh, uh here we 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 put 0 0.1 and here is one this is number eight since a uh, this is because of 2d art adaptive remeshing for asymmetric uh, elements okay it's just number eight here we can just always choose 0 0.01 and we accept and then done we click on save keywords and let's check what we have so we have everything ready here right so meaning that we just need to save 
and we check as well the other things okay everything is okay everything is okay here is okay okay so we run the simulations we go to here we go to solver we click on start ls dyna analysis that's what we get or you can just simply click, uh, click on this icon here okay start ls dyna analysis click here and then browse the file so it's the file blanking trial open the file and run so it's gonna take some time can you see it this is because of the explicit so it's going to do something like this before that let me explain to you so in case of uh, the material properties so since we are using elastic plastic uh, uh, material model so is is we characterize this by look weak for our mathematical formulations right so this is only plastic but uh, uh, the elastic plastic uh, deformation only so if you want to considering the damage of the material it's better to enhance to use another uh, apply uh, another material model for example johnson cope okay to this uh, sheet material so because we when we can include the the damage properties because the shearing uh, uh, consider the damage of uh, damage criteria. So uh, now the simulation uh, uh, already uh, finished. Okay, in sixty three sec sixty three seconds. Okay, so when that is fast, very fast. Okay, so let's see the results. Okay, we go to here. We go to LS Prepose start LS Dyna. okay we go to here we go to open and you choose binary plots okay and you choose d3 plot and open okay now you click play here yeah. so you can play, press control and then control and scroll down see this is what you see this is what happened okay so this is very important when you have very small mesh it really helps you to give you this image if not it's going it's not gonna be like this okay you click here see this is Okay, then since you have this, you can always create movie. Okay, movie. If you want to save the movie, you click on movie here. Or let's say you do not satisfy with the background. Let's say you want to patch this. Uh, you want to copy. Uh, you want to display this with the white background. Since you are going to present the result, so you can always go to background and choose plain okay or maybe you want it to be to have your own image so you can always choose your own image you want to put your own face it's okay no problem so here we choose plane and we go to movie and then we choose start so you can always uh, uh, create uh, choose where you want to save the file you click here file path browse or you want to change everything it's up to you you can also change the format here okay it's up to you okay you click on start so this is what you get the movie you can control the 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 speed of the movie and also you can also here let's say you want to see something like this right so what you want to see is that you want to uh let's say here is this uh, let's say you want to make it standard 35 
or maybe you want it to be earlier you change step number 30 you here ok you see here state, uh, state number 30 and then you press enter it will just that way and then you go to uh, movie you go to jpeg ok and then you press start ok this is also can be saved in jpeg format so let's see what we have ok let's see what we have so we have movie see so since we are because of the, the the we want we want to get the uh, this uh, 30 step 30 so this is what we get okay so if you want to get a uh, step number 63 so this is what we get okay we always have uh, okay this is the movie see you have this you can always put it into the simulation okay see that you want to change this to uh you want to see uh let's see you can always uh zoom in and zoom out it depends on which area you want to look at okay let's say you want to see something like this okay, okay zoom out okay so here we are interested with the let's say plastic strain okay and also you want to play around with the value results I think okay it's okay so in this case you choose plastic screen okay so you go to click play Yep, so wait, wait. Mm. Okay, this is what you get. Okay, you can see here. So Okay, so here what you see, so you can always see the screen. Okay, so since it is it is difficult to see the the results. Okay, difficult to see the result when the mesh is uh, is visible. So you can turn off the mesh by clicking this. Okay, click this. So this is what you're going to see. So so I want to. Uh, So you can see the reading on the top right here, okay? The reading of the so let's say you want to be interested with step 30. So you can see at step 30 where the shearing uh, just uh, just right on the start to occur, and you can see the strain, the highest strain value uh, where the red color here is represented by 1.8. Okay, it fills up uh, because. Uh, you remember that your key in the value 1.9 for the effective for the plastic screen at uh, failure okay and in that beyond 1.9 so there will be element deletions okay so in this case uh, this result seems just okay as expected so the other parameter in uh, we interested when we see the result is the von Mises stress okay one Mr. Stress correspond to the measurement of the is a function of the measurement of uh, the strain changes, right? Strain value changes of in the strain value you can see here. So this is the one Mr. So the highest uh, stress here, you just pick one. Let's say the yellow one around here. So it's around one thousand three hundred eighty-four megapascal. Okay. 
so you can see it's very high here okay this is already in plastic deformation state hmm. okay. or you can always play around with this value you how do, how to do it you just click on the fringe area user define and here what you can do is that you let's say you want it to be 200 2000 you just uh, let's say you want it to be 2500 okay see you see 2500 2000 or maybe you want it to be 2000 you click here so this is what you see okay so in case of the plastic strain let's say you cho we choose plastic strain okay so what we need now the plastic strain here maybe around 2 so this is what you get okay maybe you say 2 minimum value maybe you want it to change you want to change to maybe uh, is, let's say 1 1 you click sign so here is 2 yeah it's always possible sign click to enter see you when you have this kind of value it's easy for you to save so let's just uh, um, so what we can do now is that we can always save the make a movie okay movie first let's say we the, since we let's say this is the one let's say we only interested with number 30 only we just select number 30 the rest we delete mm -mm -mm. we delete number 30 and then delete delete the file okay so now we have number 30 right okay for example so then we just click jpeg first movie this file start okay you can see if you refine the mesh you even get a uh, better 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 deformation okay see this is what you get okay let's say now we are almost finished okay let's just go to the result so let's say we delete here we delete we just choose number 30 okay which one number 30 okay yeah okay so now we have a movie in this case only the plastic screen is visible you can always choose uh, the one misses letter see okay this is the screen and here is the okay this is what you get or if you do not say this five with this okay with this with the figure here what you can do is that see that you do not satisfy with this figure you go to this result you go to um, step number 30 ok so going to have something like this so you just select here click here because you want to have a very good image you click uh, if you have you install the snipping tool or maybe you can just press print screen button on your uh, uh, your uh, keypad here so click here new and then you select here okay then you have better image than the one you use earlier than the one uh, that has been saved by the by the LS Dyna so let's set here so here you see snipping tool okay so let's look the different this is the one saved by as now can can you see it this is the not not clear because uh, the movie and this is what you get from snipping tool okay so they are not not so much different i bet something mistake here but then is yeah uh, maybe you can also use another another way to do it you just press on the print screen and then maybe okay 
it's okay you can use a print screen and then let's say you open here new slide okay this is what you get from the print screen so print screen you play around with this play around with this this is what you get okay so you can always have this you can also have something like this since the indicator is supposed to be large and this is the case where so we don't need this and this is you can just make it bigger like I said up on the top right side and then you make it big or you can always cut this because you're just interested with this okay I bet okay and then yep and you can also insert this one here where you see that this is 2d so it's going to be outline black outline dash outline wing is to be okay okay this is what you see so maybe you can insert video as well if you want right the video movie here this is the video where you can just always play okay whenever you want okay so here see okay so if you want to have a let's say let's say if you're interested with one message later and then you change this uh, here user to 2500 enter or maybe 3000 enter um, let's see let's see let's see first uh, it's around this value 2000 okay 2000 so we insert 2000 or oh, 2000 okay or maybe you want to choose 1500 so this is what you get if you choose 1500 so in this case I choose 1000 uh, uh, sorry 2000 only so this is what you got you get so you can save this as well movie and then this is so you can always play this around later okay this is the effective stress okay so now you have the next one the next movie which is this for the uh, this is for the plastics this is for the effective stress I think uh, that's the end of the of our simulation uh, here so uh, thank you for your attention so hope you enjoy with uh, with the simulation don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube